Now, in this different example, we're going to be following along as an agent is working with a customer who has requested a line of credit increase. So we're just going to follow as the agent logs into their CRM system. And this particular bot at this point is actually going to be running some local desktop automation, what we call RE for desktop. So what's happened here is that as the agent logged in, a trigger was activated and the bot ran automatically based on the application running and the user that's logged in is asking if they want to use the tool. And once they do log in, you can see here that we've got this custom built form that's part of the process. And we have all these options at the top here, which actually help define what flow the agent wants to follow. In this case, credit limit one. And you can see here, a new form is built specifically for this particular flow. So as they go through, you can see here at the very top window, we've got uh, basically directions as you go in the description, what to do next. And as they complete in these actions, you can see the instructions keep growing as well. You can see that at the same time in the background, the bot is actually processing that data, retrieving it and bringing it back into the form as well without the agent having to do anything here other than just follow the instructions. This ensures that we always follow the correct procedures and also make sure that actually new agents can pick up other new tasks in real time without having to take lengthy training to be able to help deal with any sort of high bandwidth periods. So here we can see here that uh, the agent's going to now fill in the blank details. You can see the required data here and they're going to fill it in. And what the bot's going to do now is run in the background as the human being can do actually other tasks at the same time. But the bot's running in the background, go into Experian, pulling out the different requirement for the credit check. And the human's able to work in real time alongside the bot on the same device. The bot's now finished. It was able to process the credit check and it's going to feed all that data directly into the form. And we can see here, actually, we get this little warning at the bottom here. So if you hover over that, you can see here that actually approval is required. So we actually get this feedback to the end user. So quite a few different actions have now been populated at the top. The agent can scroll back and through them as needed, read what the next steps that need to be done and make a judgment if they need to continue going forward but based on the reaction of the customer. So the customer still wants to proceed and we've got all the steps here, which is a great way to keep a history of what's been done so far automatically. But also we actually have the ability as well as the agent to overwrite these case notes and enter a more um, personalized message designed for this particular um, encounter. So we're just gonna give it a moment for the agent to fill in the details. And the agent is basically just writing a quick summary needed for the manager to approve it or not. So they're going to click on the send to manager and submit. And what's going to happen here is automatically in the background, then the bot's going to send a case over to the manager, but it's also going to send a quick email to the customer as well. So the customer is going to receive an email with a tracking reference, all the details they need. Here we go here, should have now arrived. And at the same time, what it's going to do is it's going to send an email over to the manager. So we'll be able to see that using the corporate email of the company. There we go. And the manager's going to see something like this. So we're now going to assume the role of the agent's manager. So they've received this email with the details in there. And you can see there we've got this little RE web portal link. So we're now going to start using RE for web. So this is our um, multi-user, multi-bot sort of um, process flow interface that simply is all done for automation anywhere. The manager logs in and they get to see all the cases open for them and their team. So they can filter there, search by only the open ones. And we can see there, there's that credit limit increase one. So the manager can now open up that particular item and you can see here that it even comes through with all the data that pertinent to this particular request. And we can see the next action in the line is to review the customer's details and assign that to a member of the team. Now that member of the team, we're going to assume Bruce's role here. Bruce can actually look over that data, use their expertise and decide to either reject it or approve it. In this case, they didn't meet the criteria and Bruce has rejected it. Now, 
The Bruce is not going to have to do much more else now. The bot will actually initiate the task to run on a separate device at this point here, you can see it on the virtual machine, and it's going to complete all the actions needed. And we come back here, we can see that the whole history is now complete and the whole task is now successful. And the request is now closed. So the manager could still log in and just validate that themselves as well. But in this case, what's going to happen is a quick email is now going to go to the customer. So they've got real time in moments, the human decision, which could have taken days normally. Obviously, for the customer's perspective, I wish they probably hoped for a better outcome from their perspective. But of course, this is making sure that the vendor is meeting their obligations as a responsible vendor.